hi guys um welcome back to my channel um it's nice to see you back if you're new uh, please don't forget to sub subscribe um today's video is going to be about um, anxiety again okay, so what i would like to talk to you about um is things i do against anxiety so when i feel a bit anxious or before i actually get to the point where i, where I feel anxious so um it's very important to do things you really like to do um, go outside, so as you can see I'm in a park um, where I look like I come a lot of times mainly before work and so out for about an hour um, and normally it's really quiet here uh, today is 30 degrees and it's full of people um, so I feel a little bit of an idiot to like just feel myself talking to you guys um, but um, it's really nice. Um, so sometimes I just hang around here um, and I draw, I do um, stuff in my bullet journal, um, I just lay in the grass and then enjoy time with myself, that makes sense. So because it's really quiet, um, there's a little pond, sometimes you see the birds flying around, it's literally the best thing ever. So that's one of my things I really like to do. So I'm going to insert a couple of clips for you to see how the park looks like. Especially when you have a depression, you feel down all the time. Um, it's very important to do things you love doing. Um, you might not really sure because there's lots of people like just not really doing anything. That's why they anxious or or depressed. They literally just sitting in their house watching TV or whatever. Um, it's important to do positive things. So it, yeah, makes you feel much much better. Um, so. Obviously my number one is going outside, um, I live in a rented uh, flat, not even a house, um, it's really small, um, there's no garden and it's very dark as well, um, the reason we live in there is because it's cheap and it's really, really yeah, affordable and then obviously we, we would like to save up for a house and have our own one day, um, so it's kind of like just have to deal with it until, until I manage to get our own house. Um, but basically I always go out in parks and yeah, just chill here. Um, I love animals, so another thing I think number two is having a pet. Um, which again is really hard if you're renting. Um, we do have fish, which is a very funny um, situation because normally I say to people that I have fish and they're like, oh yeah, whatever, like you can't really do much with fish and they're just dumb and they're just there. Um, it's really funny because they not. Um, I mean, all these little tiny like um, freshwater fish are might be like that, but um, we have two whole fish, um, and they're really really fun. Like they come to you, you can touch them. They're not really scared of people. Uh, they learn that when you're there, it means food. So as soon as we go to the tank, they just come to us. Um, and then we also have better fish. Um, and he's really smart as well, so um, yeah, it's really weird because um, you're not supposed to put best fish together with any fish, but we have him together with some um, platies and we have a quarry catfish as well and they get him really well, so obviously I searched it before getting it that what other fish you can be together with um, and they get him really well and then it's really weird because um, our platies were, like, used to be very scared of us and then now because they learned it from the better I think that they can come closer to, to me or whatever yeah they're just really friendly as well so yeah they're really fun they make me laugh a lot um, we also have a baby fish um, unfortunately like only one stayed alive because the other ones got eaten 
and yeah, it's just kind of I kind of realized there accidentally that I have little fish, um, and then yeah, only one stage alive. Um, yeah, so if you have a pet, I think that's a really good one. Especially, uh, I would love to have a dog, and that's again like when well, we're gonna have our own house. That, um, I'm gonna definitely buy one because I had one for 15 years, and that's my favorite thing. More when they just your best friend. Um, but yeah, definitely animals make you feel so much better and then even a fish, so if you can't get anything else, just get something you can look after and then kind of get you occupied a little bit. exercise or some sports um, I go to the gym obviously I work in the gym but um, it's important for you to just like wash your brain out of sleep things or like just turn your brain off um, and I think exercising kind of makes you do that um, not everyone obviously enjoys exercising but um, to get some hormones going through your body you you're gonna feel better there is days when you feel down and you don't really want to go to the gym especially after work you know like everyone's tired if you have a standing job your feet hurts um but trust me like days when i feel that way like i always tell myself that i know if i don't go and don't exercise i'm gonna feel horrible um you just have to push through it even if it's just half an hour you know it's like you're gonna feel really proud of yourself you're gonna feel positive about yourself you know you're gonna feel great and obviously like positive performance going through um so i think it's very important to you don't say don't have to do it every day because that's just overtraining is not good either but a couple of times a week probably three two three times a week you know i think you should everyone should have some sort of exercise even if it's just walking or running or i don't know anything you know it's a really good one um and then if we are at that topic of exercise it's another good thing i love doing since i was a kid it's dancing um so obviously a lot of people say that oh yeah i don't have a rhythm like i got two left feet and i can dance how do you know until you try it? Um, everyone is a beginner at some point. Uh, no one knows how to dance when they're born. So I think just go and try it. Um, I still try new stuff. Um, so I've been dancing since I was 10 and I'm 31 now. So it's been a pretty long time. Um, but I still have, yeah, just go to new classes. I still feel insecure going into a new class. Um, but I do it because I love it um, and last week I went to a new class, a contemporary class um, which I really enjoyed and the teacher was amazing uh, I have a couple of clips of that so I'm gonna show you um, and then you can see on the clip that I literally, I was, I had no idea where I am because <laughs> I didn't know the steps at all but um, I just enjoyed myself and then I put a smile on my face um, so yeah, so I think, yeah, that's an example, so put the clips into here, and then you can have a look.
another thing I do as well, um, I listen to music, which always puts me in a better mood if I feel down. Um, so mainly I do listen to music when I walk somewhere, um, say like if I'm going to work or when I exercise. Um, or you can, you can even like, when, before you go to sleep, you can even put in some chilling music and listen to that. But um, I like um, the beat. So obviously like music with the beat kind of makes me get up and move <laughs> my body. I like also as I said I like dancing and everything but um, yeah I think music is a really good um, healer for a lot of things. So I definitely suggest for you to go and listen to some music when you feel down. Obviously not the depressed kind of music but um, yeah. Okay so I guess this is all for me today. This is all I wanted to um, share with you guys. I hope I helped you um, figure out some stuff you might like to do. I'm sure everyone's obviously different. You might have things you love to do and I don't even think about. Uh, but yeah, definitely find positive things to do and then I don't know, watch a movie or whatever. Um, and yeah, I hope I could help you and again, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like or even a comment and um, give me your feedback please and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys! Just wait.